Hey folks, it's Mike Parsons here with Bluegrass with Friends, and today I wanted to do a waltz on the bass. This is one of my first bass videos, and uh, also I'm doing this bass filming myself, so that's a new thing for me. I just touched my nose, and uh, by the way, it's uh, the pandemic is happening right now, and uh, so if I say something weird or act weird, it's because... We're all stuck at home, so hey folks, if you're stuck at home, call your friends, tell them to get on my Bluegrass channel, Bluegrass with Friends, and ask them if they don't want to get on there and learn all the good times are past and gone. I have guitar, banjo, and mandolin, and I think a fiddle video on there already, so you guys could all get this song learned in the next few days. And when you're free to get back together, you could... Uh, you can play it together and it's it's all going to be in the same key and you guys know what you're doing okay and also i wanted to tell you that we have playlists on our on our youtube site bluegrass with friends so if you're having trouble finding the uh, guitar uh, version of all the good times are past and gone uh, why look under the section that says guitar videos okay and I just want to say thank you for uh, all the great comments and everything that we get on here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this song and kind of sing along and then I'll uh, maybe stop a little bit and show you what I did, okay? Okay, thanks again for tuning in. Here we go. It's in the key of G. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I was doing, starts with the turnaround. Okay, something like that. And 
And so the walk up that I'm doing is just between G and D to start with. So that's G, F sharp, E, D, E, D, F sharp, G, and then D, E, F, G. Same thing again, D, E, F sharp, G. C, then G, all the good, walk down to the D, back up to G, okay, so do you notice where I'm cutting those notes off? So when you're playing the open strings, two, put your hand down on the third beat. That's your left hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, When you're playing the basically the third fret of the of the uh, let me see that's the A string. We want a C note here, so that's this string right here. You're playing the third fret. One, two, three. When that happens, you squeeze down. And then just ease up when you want it to end. So it's the opposite of going like this. So you have it on and then you just relax a little bit. You can't really see that I'm relaxing. So I'll, you don't really want to take your hand all the way off because that'll let it ring. You just See that hand just moving a little bit right there. That's squeeze down to play the note and then relaxed a little bit to but still with the finger on the string to stop the note. Okay. Okay, so right over from this C note on the next string over, that's your low G note. And so a few times in there I went. G is the fourth finger here. The B is like the second fret of the uh, A string. And then C is the third fret of the A string. By that I mean the third dot here that I have. If you're playing a guitar, those would be frets. And then D, two, three. G, D, C. covers most of the stuff that I've done here on this video. Again, thanks a lot for tuning in for with Bluegrass with Friends, and uh, remember, get your friends out there to join in with you. Before long, you can have a band and get out there and make some of that big money you can make playing bluegrass. Heck, I've played for uh, going on uh, 50 years now, and I've made at least $25 a clear profit. Okay, take care now.